Hey guys, welcome to episode number 370. Today is Monday, Monday morning in fact. So it's update Monday. And I wanted to very quickly shoot a video on my 55 gallon aquaponics barrel. Um, you saw me build this barrel in a previous video. Uh, basically chopping the top off the barrel, flipping it over, attaching it with uh, zip ties all the way around, and then cutting a viewing window into here. And now uh, I do have it up and running. So I wanted to very quickly run through sort of what I did to get it up and running and uh, what the plans are now that it is running. Um, so first and foremost, um, we do have water which is pumping up to the top barrel here. You can see the barrel is just about empty right now because it just um, evacuated its water. And you'll see when it does that, uh, it fills up this barrel all the way up to the tippy top. I wanted to uh, see exactly how much water this system could hold. Um, so I did use the hose and I did fill it all the way up. Uh, but what you will see down there is a little fountain pump um, and that is uh, going to basically emulate um, the type of pump that I would be getting. It would be a DC pump and uh, it would be placed back there. I would have the solar panel powering it. Um, so I, it needs to be sort of a small pump in order to, uh, to work in a situation like that, working off solar power uh, and like a battery system. So uh, I found a, a small pump and uh, I basically threaded that tube up this one inch PVC and then out here so that it is filling our grow bed. And then essentially what happens is this takes about 30 minutes to fill. I haven't timed it exactly, but I think it's about 30 minutes to fill. And uh, then what we have over here is a bell siphon. Uh, now this is as simple of a siphon um, as I could possibly create. This is just a shroud which goes over it. You can see there's some saw marks in the sides there. Um, this basically protects the, the bell siphon um, to make sure that roots and media don't clog it up. So essentially um, there's free floating water that's able to sit inside this right around the siphon and when that siphon starts it'll pull that water instead of pulling roots or other junk. Um, every once in a while I'll probably need to rotate this and uh, what that will do is it will just cut any of the roots that are trying to get through uh, this shroud. So uh, I believe this is a two, three, three inch, three inch shroud. Uh, I could be wrong, it might be a two and a half inch. Anyways, uh, so this is the bell siphon itself. It is made out of inch and a half PVC. And essentially what I've done is I've just taken a cap and a piece of PVC pipe. And if I pull this, you'll see, uh, all I've done is I've just cut little notches here uh, on the bottom. I might actually uh, knock these out so that like I knock this one out, but then I leave this one and I knock that one out and I leave this one and I just alternate like that just to make sure that uh, these don't plug up. But since there's no media in there, there's, there's no plants or debris in there right now, this is, this is working okay. Uh, and essentially what this does is this goes right on top of this one inch stand pipe. Uh, and I do have the uniseal there. So when I place this over that uniseal, what happens is the water in this grow bed rises all the way up to the top until it hits the point where it starts to overflow and then that creates the siphon. Uh, shaped like a bell, hence the name. And uh, it's working out pretty good. I haven't had any troubles with it yet. Um, so crossing my fingers. I know a lot of people have uh, difficulty dialing in their bell siphons. And I think it's for a number of reasons. One might be the flow rate. The flow rate might be too high, it might be too low. Um, the bell siphon itself uh, may may be faulty. It might not prime completely. Uh, it might just trickle and overflow. If you've got like an air leak or something like that. The other thing that I notice, Holly, it's okay. We're gonna play in a minute. 
All right. Um, the other thing that I did was down here, you can see that one inch PVC is reduced to half inch PVC right before it hits the, the barrel and right before it hits the, the water down here. And I think that helps a little bit because it, it sort of backs that water up and it allows that siphon to be uh, created a little bit more easily. So this is just a couple parts that I threw on there. They're not well, uh, they're not PVC welded in or glued in uh, at this point. So I might change those, but those are just some parts that I had laying around and that seems to be working. Uh, down here you will see there's a PVC pipe and a little claw sticking out. I do have a little traveler uh, in this system. I have one crayfish. Uh, hanging out in there for right now, so uh, I'll just be getting this barrel cycled, getting it situated where I want it, and uh, dialed in. And once I'm happy with uh, the results, then I'll be taking this barrel along with a couple others which are similar and putting them at the back of the yard with the solar panel off grid aquaponics setup. So that's the plan. We've got this thing in operation at this point, which is nice to see. Uh, pretty simple to set up, uh, fairly low cost, and uh, I'm happy with the results thus far. So, if you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions on how I could make this better, let me know. Uh, I have seen bell siphons or versions of bell siphons which use sort of like a snorkel tube which sort of comes off and goes down. Um, I don't think I'm going to make one of those until I see the need to. Uh, as long as this is operating correctly, uh, I'm just going to roll with what's simple and what's easy. Uh, I did see online where someone made a different version of a siphon. Um, I believe he called it an above barrel siphon, ABS siphon or something like that. Essentially what it is is it's a YouTube siphon um, and how that works is you just stick it on like this and essentially the water level rises and then it creates a siphon here and it goes down. Uh, I was having trouble getting this um, started and uh, the more I looked at it I was like this is taking up way too much space in the grow bed and if it's not working 100% of the time, I'm not really interested in messing around with it. But essentially what that is, is some street elbows, one inch street elbows to inch and a half, inch and a quarter uh, street elbow. So that actually did not work as planned, but it's uh, always good to test out a few different designs before you settle on something. In this case, in this case uh, simplest was best. And uh, this is working out just fine for right now. So anyways guys, hope you enjoyed that little sneak peek at the Bell Siphon and the 55 gallon aquaponics barrel. Uh, like I said, I will be building a few more of these. I have plenty of barrels sitting around. And uh, the one thing that I do want to test is th the depth of these beds. Uh, when I make the other barrels, I might vary the depth of this bed a little bit. Uh, you know, maybe do one 12 inches, one 10 inches, and uh, see if there's a, a big difference between, uh, between the two. Uh, I think this one might be a little excessively deep, um, which is essentially just going to use more media and not really give a, a better result. But I guess we'll see when I get some plants uh, started in these. I know it's late in the year to start some plants, but I figured I'd at least set the system up, uh, get it running, and uh, test it out. And uh, even if I don't get any vegetables out of it this year, at least it will be set up and ready to go for next year. So anyways guys, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.